Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, sorry it took so long between videos, but uh, I was working on the wing. I actually um, got up the patience to uh, put the panel lines on the second wing, and um, when I pulled the tape up, I um, pulled up um, all the way down to the fiberglass in some places. Um, did kind of a stupid thing. Um, I, I didn't think it would. Uh, be a problem but on that particular wing I needed to do a lot of filling and stuff with the weave and uh, I used uh, spackle and uh, mm. it works on uh, foamies and stuff but uh, apparently it doesn't work so good if you're doing panel lines uh, so anyways I had to sand that wing all the way back down to um, the fiberglass uh, I primed it um, and I'm using uh, <clears throat> Bondo to um, fill in uh, some of the areas that needed filling anyways so I shouldn't have that problem again but I'm uh, not touching that sucker for at least a week because uh, it's uh, that's pretty much what I spent my whole vacation on was uh, was those wings so I was hoping to finally get those done last night and instead I ended up uh, making a bigger project so anyways what we're gonna do now is our um, nose gear steering servo mounting bracket um, basically it's just this little square plywood piece and these two triangular pieces here so uh, what we're going to do right now I've got the servo mounted in here <clears throat> we are going to drill or pre-drill some holes for the screws that step. Now let's uh, go ahead and mix up some five minute epoxy here. Before we do anything, <clears throat> be sure to roughen up your surface here. And we'll rough up the bottom part of the triangular pieces. our first piece. Just going to line it up with that back edge. Okay, <clears throat> I want to make real sure that uh, it lines up good with that back edge because it that uh, mounts to our um, forward bulkhead. So, I'm um, going to go ahead, let that dry, and then we'll mount the servo in there. Um, I was kind of playing around with it, and I'm pretty sure that we can um, uh, mount everything without taking out that uh, nose gear. Um, the instructions say to take the nose gear out, but I was able to kind of manipulate it and get it in there without, the, without having to do that. So, anyways, uh, go ahead and I'll uh, meet you at the next step. Okay, let's go ahead and put that uh, servo in. And we're going to want the servo arm or wheel or whatever to be on the uh, left side. There we go. Alright, we got her in there. And let's go ahead and start putting in some screws.
All right, there it is. Won't focus, but there it is. So, anyway, all right, next step is going to be to uh, put it into the fuselage. Okay, so now we're going to get this bad boy in there with the landing gear still in place. Well, I'll show you. Um, it's not so much that I don't want to take the landing gear out, I just don't want to take the landing gear out now. Um, I'll have to take it out when we start putting in the air hoses and all that stuff anyway, but I um, just wanted to show you how we're going to do this, because this is what I'm worried about right now. So anyways, it'll actually just slide right in, like that, and Eventually going to go right about there. And let me show you that. Okay, so here's what it looks like um, about the position where we're going to put it. Um, I'm mounting it a little bit deeper in there because I'll probably use like a, a ball link or, or something similar. Um, anyway. Just wanted to show you that, and you might be wondering how we're going to glue this. Well, let me show you. Basically, I'm just going to tilt it I'm just going to tilt it, um, take 30 minute epoxy, and I'll get that one side. Then we'll just kind of pull it over and then we'll get that side and then when we're ready we'll just kind of lean it back and push it up against that back uh, bulkhead so can't do it with one hand but uh, you get the idea so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you the final assembly okay so here's the uh, final assembly um, you can see everything's in there um, centered uh, this way anyway. Um, I pushed it all the way back to the bulkhead and I made sure that we had access to those screws and those screws as well as uh, if we need to replace the servo arm or anything like that. That'll make it easier to hook up and everything. I also um, put a couple wedges in there you can kind of see um, just so that the servo is not actually touching the um, duct there. So. Anyways, that way it'll be floating a little bit up from the duct. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. 